right. Hello, everyone, and welcome in. My name is Alexis Miller, and I'll be your yoga instructor for today. So this is the first class in our series that's all about the third eye chakra, which if you're not familiar with the, where that is, it's right here, kind of in the center of your forehead, right above your eyebrow line. Um, this is a part of a little mini series where we'll have four classes on the third eye chakra, which is then part of the larger series called Full Body Awakening that you can find on my channel, Wild Blue Yonder Media. So even if you don't subscribe to any of that, that's totally fine. It's still going to be a great practice to kind of stretch you out, get you tuned into some different parts of the body. So as we move through our practice today, keep in mind your boundaries. Notice are where you're ready to extend into postures, where do you need to modify and come down to the mat, or perhaps find that center posture. Also keep in mind, I don't often cue water. So if and when you feel thirsty, of course, please feel free to step off your mat, grab that drink, and then join us whenever you feel ready. So with all of that being said, let's go ahead and come into a comfortable seat. Your legs can be crossed. They can be straight out in front of you. You can be sitting up on a prop. I'm on a block here on the flat side, or you can just be down on the mat. And we're going to wiggle back and forth to root ourselves into our sits bones. And then we'll sit up nice and tall. We're going to inhale as we draw the shoulders forward and up. And then exhale as we drop them back and down. One more time. Inhale, the shoulders come forward and up. And then exhale, they drop back and down. Great. Hands come into a comfortable position, whether on your knees, palms up or down, or in your lap. You're welcome to close the eyes if you'd like, or just find an unmoving point and soften your gaze here today. In the yogic tradition, there are seven chakras known as the organizing centers for reception, assimilation, and transmission of life energies. The sixth in this system is the perception or command chakra, also known as the third eye chakra, in Sanskrit known as the Ajna. This is the location of seeing and intuition, and it's located in the center of the head, slightly above eye level. It's associated with light and eyes and the sense of seeing, inwardly and outwardly. It's also associated with the color indigo. As we move through practice today, I invite you to bring your awareness into the third eye chakra area of your body. Notice sensations in this area, and notice too if you can see inwardly and outwardly as you move through the postures. So centering in, taking a deep inhale through the nose, filling the belly, lungs, and chest with air. And then slowly exhale that breath back out. Take another deep inhale, fill the belly, lungs, and chest with air. And then slowly exhale that breath back out. Take another deep inhale as you feel your belly expand outward like a big balloon. And then exhale as you draw that belly button in toward your spine. Inhale as you feel your torso expand, the collarbones gently lift. And then exhale as you feel your shoulders release down and away from your ears. Inhaling the air in the nose, down the throat, filling your lungs. And then exhale as you squeeze that air out of your lungs. Move it up your throat and out your nose. Continue to breathe, inhaling and exhaling with intention. Really noticing the movement of your breath here. Now, if your mind wanders off, it gets distracted by thoughts, noises, physical sensations, it's okay. The moment you've noticed you've gone away, see if you can identify that noticing that you've wandered and then come back to the breath, come back to the inhales and exhales. If it makes sense for you, perhaps incorporating a mantra to help you stay grounded and focused on the breath here. Inhale, I am. 
Exhale, intuitive. Inhale, I am. Exhale, intuitive. Remaining here with your breath in whatever way best supports you for just a few more moments here today. Take another deep inhale here as you set an intention or a purpose for your practice today, which really could be anything at all, but it often answers the question, why did I get on my mat? Take another deep inhale here as you feel that intention with your heart and mind, and then exhale the breath out, set the intention off to the side, knowing we'll return to it toward the end of our practice. Lovely. If you're sitting on a prop, we're going to go ahead and remove that here today. And we're going to come onto our hands and knees and actually start with a child's pose. So sinking the hips back onto the heels, elongating the arms, bringing the forehead down to the mat here. Now, it is crucial that the forehead touches down today. So if your forehead does not reach the mat, you can always use a block or another prop on whatever height uh, supports you to rest your forehead down on gently. We're not pushing down or anything like that, but we do want it to make contact with the surface beneath us. And so as you sit in this child's pose, forehead resting down for a moment, take a moment, start to tune into the body and begin to notice what is here today. Notice the felt sense in your body. Notice if there's any particular sensations that are calling your attention. And if there are where they reside in your body. And notice too that sensation on the forehead here that third eye space connecting with the surface beneath you. We don't often spend a lot of time connecting with this part of our body, so notice sensation here in the middle of the forehead, above the brow line, that third eye chakra space. Take one more deep inhale here. Exhale, let it go. When you're ready, we're gonna inhale, come up onto our hands and knees, and then exhale, let's go ahead and lower down onto the belly here. Good. We're gonna sweep those arms around towards our sides and bring those palms down toward the floor. And if you'd like, you can rest your forehead or your chin down on the mat here. So we're preparing for our locust pose here. So let's start by inhale, lifting the torso, lifting those arms, reaching back toward the feet. Now you can be here, this is a great option. The next option is to lift one leg or the other, or the full expression is to inhale from lower down, come all the way up into that locust pose here. So lifting through the torso. And as you feel that bow in your spine here, really feel yourself reaching out through the forehead, that energy moving from the base of the spine and really from those toe tips all the way up the back side of the body and then out through the front side of the head here. Good. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Let's take a nice deep inhale here. Feel that pelvis root down into the floor. Exhale the breath out. One more deep inhale. Good. And then exhale, lower back down. Hands come beneath the shoulders. And then inhale, go ahead and press yourself on up onto your hands and knees again. Now we're going to sink back into uh, a seated pose on our heels. If this is uncomfortable for you, please feel free to come down onto your seat, whatever that feels good for you. You can also sit down onto a block. 
So we're now going to come into our eagle arms pose. Usually eagle pose includes the legs, but we're just doing our arms here today to kind of counteract that posture we just did. So we're going to take our arms wide, spreading them fully, and then exhale, go ahead and bring that right arm to cross over the left at the biceps or the elbows. And then bend both of the elbows, so your arms are now at about 90 degrees. And then take that right hand and continue to wrap it around the left hand so those palms come to touch. If that's inaccessible for you, back of the hands can come to touch as well. So palms come to touch, those uh, thumb tips uh, touch together here. And then we're going to jut our elbows straight out in front of us so we really feel that pull through those shoulder blades through the back. And then inhale, we'll lift those arms up here. Now, a couple options if you'd like, bend those elbows and touch the thumbs so they're touching that third eye chakra space. This is a really nice way to uh, connect with that space and kind of feel the full energy, the full movement of this posture. If that's inaccessible, no problem. You can always duck your chin or dip your chin down as well if you'd like, bringing that forehead either to touch or close to your bicep here. So let's take a couple deep breaths, try not to arch out the back, core is engaged, long spine. Again, we're really feeling that pull through the shoulder blades here. Good, nice deep inhale. And then exhale, gently uncross those arms, bring them all the way back out to a T. Inhale, bring those arms all the way up overhead. Look up overhead. Exhale, bring them all the way down to your sides. Great job. Coming on to that opposite side now, arms sweep back out to that T. And this time, as you cross them, bring that left arm over the right, bringing the elbows or the biceps to touch. We'll bend those elbows, creating that 90 degree angle. And either back of the hands touch or take your left hand and continue to wrap it around that right, bringing those palms to touch, uh, thumbs to touch here. We'll then jut our elbows straight out in front of us and lift those arms up here so those elbows are almost level with our shoulders. So we're getting that gorgeous pull now uh, through the shoulders again. A little bit different now, though, that the arms are twisted in the opposite direction. So noticing if you can feel that sensation, and again, you can bend those elbows, bringing the thumbs to touch that third eye chakra space, the forehead option, of course, not a requirement. You can also dip the chin down, lowering the forehead down toward the bicep. Notice what feels right for you. Not arching out the back, so tempting. I know I, I catch myself doing it too. Resting here into the weight of the glutes and then really feeling that long spine, proud heart. Couple deep breaths here. Good, one more deep inhale. Exhale, gently untwist, bring those arms all the way out. Inhale, those arms come all the way up, look up overhead, and then exhale, sweep those hands down to your sides. Great work here. All right, coming back to the mat here, we're gonna go ahead and lower our forearms down onto the mat. We're getting ready for dolphin pose. Now, if you find that dolphin is inaccessible for you, no problem, make your way into a down dog instead. All right, so forearms are planted, fingers spread wide. We're gonna tuck our back toes on the inhale and then on the exhale, lift those hips coming into dolphin. So we're down on the forearms instead of just the hands. We're pressing into that whole surface here, shrugging those shoulders down and we're looking back toward our toes. Heels are moving toward the floor. They may or may not touch, really feeling that stretch through the back of the legs here. Good. That third eye, the forehead is very close to the mat here. So let's take a couple deep breaths here, pressing that chest toward your thigh so you have that nice flat back here. Great work. On the next inhale, go ahead, press yourself on up to your hands, pressing your chest back, coming into your down dog here. You may need to adjust the hands or feet slightly. 
Good. And then on the next inhale, look up between the hands and go ahead and step your right foot forward. We're going to turn that back heel down at about a 45 degree angle. And then inhale, we're going to windshield our, our wind, windmill, our arms and torso up. Good. So we're going to go ahead and get ready for our humble warrior here. So we're going to start by bending that front knee, kind of coming into that warrior one position. But instead of trying to get flush with the top of the mat, we're going to be out at a little bit of an angle here to the left side. We're going to take our arms and either hands come palms to touch or interlace the fingers behind us. They're going to rest right near the glutes here for most of us. Okay. And then we're going to take a deep inhale, lengthen through the spine. And then on the exhale, hinge at the hips, bring your right shoulder to the inside of that right leg here, sinking down into humble warrior. So yes, we are working the legs here, but we're also reaching that crown of the head down toward the floor here. Good. Now you can stay right here. If you'd like, you can inhale, lift those arms up off the back as far as you're able. That is going to deepen the stretch. It's going to stretch out the shoulders here. It's going to open up that heart center. But of course, it's an option. It's not a requirement. Doing what works for your body, keeping a slight bend in that back knee, long spine as you reach the crown of the head toward the floor. Another couple of breaths here. Inhale, release those hands. Go ahead, sweep those arms up as you, as you lift the torso and then exhale, those arms come down to the side. Straighten that front leg. Good. We're going to go ahead and rotate toward the back of the mat here. I'm on a circle, so there is no front and back, but you probably aren't. So go ahead and rotate toward the back of your mat. So now the left foot is facing forward and the right foot is back at a little bit of an angle here. So again, now we're going to go into humble warrior on the opposite side. So we're going to start by getting a nice bend in that uh, front knee here on the left side. And instead of squaring off like warrior one, we'll stay off to the right slightly here. Taking the hands, palms to touch, or fingers interlaced behind you, resting near the glutes to start. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, we hinge at the hips and bringing that left shoulder to the inside of the left thigh, coming into humble warrior on the opposite side. So as we dip the head down here, we're really sinking into that front knee. Arms can remain where they are or inhale, lift them up off the back here as far as you're able. Again, that will deepen the stretch and bring that extra added bonus stretch into the whole upper body, front and back and right into those shoulder joints. Keeping that back knee slightly bent. We're not trying to lock it out here. And then really reaching through the crown of the head, long neck. You're looking back behind you as that crown of the head reaches down toward the floor. Really stimulating the third eye here because we're in an inversion and this challenges us. We don't spend a lot of time this way. So taking a couple breaths. Good. Inhale, release those arms, sweep those arms all the way up straight in that front leg, and then exhale, release. Great job. Go ahead and turn those toes so they're now facing the same direction off to one side of your mat. We want to be in a wide-legged stance, so if you're kind of closer in, I invite you to kind of step your way out. You can always heel toe your way out if that makes more sense for you. Again, we definitely want them wider than our shoulders, but probably a bit wider than that, okay? We're going to start hands on hips. Inhale. We lengthen through the spine. Oh, real quick. You may want to grab a block and place it down near your head here because uh, we're going to maybe use that. OK, if you have one, great. And if you don't, that's OK, too. So again, hands on hips, inhale, lengthens us through the spine, and then exhale, we hinge at the hips and lean forward, coming into a wide legged forward fold. Now you have a few options here. I'll turn to the side. You can either just rest those hands down on the mat if you'd like. You can continue to sink that forehead down. Forearms may come down to the mat. Hands can also come down onto your ankles. Now, this block can be used under the hands if you'd like, or if you're able to sink down far enough, bringing some awareness into that third eye chakra space again as we stimulate it in yet another inversion. You can rest that block beneath the forehead here. Now rotate the hips back and out. So we're really feeling that pull through the entire backside of the body in the legs here. 
Let's take a couple deep breaths here. And if you don't need that block, if your head gets close enough to the ground without it, that is great too. You can always rest it down on your mat instead. Feeling that lovely stretch through the entire backside of the legs here, oh, into the hips. One more nice deep inhale here. Exhale, bend those knees a little bit here. Press into the hands. If you've got a block, go ahead and move it out of the way. Or you're going to rotate back toward the top of your mat here. So bringing those hands beneath the shoulders, stepping the feet back. And let's go ahead and come back into a down dog here. Let's go ahead and walk out that dog, bending one knee and then the other, opening up the backs of the legs here. Taking a nice deep inhale as you do. Nice deep exhale. One more deep inhale. And then exhale, go ahead and come into stillness. Drop those soles of the feet down to the floor. Let's sink back into our child's pose once again. Forehead coming down to the mat or that prop that you used earlier. And take a moment here, maybe gently roll the forehead back and forth from side to side. Really feeling into sensation across the forehead here. Again, we don't often spend time doing this, but it is a really nice way to kind of relieve some of those muscles, those very small muscles in that space. And you can keep rolling the head back and forth if you'd like, but also tune in here for a moment to the body, noticing what sensations are present. Now that we've done a couple inversions and a couple deep stretches through the body, the arms, and the lower body. Noticing if there's a particular sensation that's calling your attention. And if there is, where in your body does it reside? Great. When you're ready on the next inhale, coming back into center, we're going to go ahead, come on up onto the hands and knees, and we're going to go make our way down onto our back. We won't sit up for the rest of practice here, so if you need a towel off, grab a drink of water, put on socks or a jacket for fun and relaxation, now's your moment to do so, as again, we will not sit up again until we're done. So coming on down onto the back, let's go ahead and tuck the knees into the chest, wrap the arms around the legs, give ourselves a little hug, maybe a rock from side to side, some roly-poly action here, if that feels good for you. Great. And then come into stillness, drop those soles, the feet down to the floor here. And then we're just going to do a couple little recline twists. So bringing your arms out to a T and allowing your knees to just gently fall over to the left side. Now you can stay like this. And if you have no issues with the neck, you're welcome to rotate your head. So you're looking off to the right side. Eyes can be open or closed, of course. But really notice here how you feel that twist from the low body all the way up into the neck here. Kind of notice here how it pulls on the face, that sensation that comes all the way up into the forehead, top of the head. It really is a full spine, really nice twist here. So just taking a couple deep breaths. Great. And then inhale, those knees come into center, bring that head back into center. And then exhale, will allow the knees to fall over to the right side. Again, you can stay right here. Or perhaps you rotate that head over to the left here. Eyes can remain open or closed. But again, noticing how that twist comes from the lower part of the spine all the way up into the neck. You kind of feel how there's that very subtle sensation through the face here as you rotate the head over, bringing that pull into the face up into the forehead as well. 
couple deep breaths. Great. And then inhale, let's go ahead, bring head and knees back into center as we prepare for finer relaxation. Now you can remain right like this if that feels good for you. You can bring the soles of the feet together, knees out wide for recline bound angle. You can also extend one leg or the other for fallen tree. You can extend both legs for traditional finer relaxation if you'd like. You're also welcome to lay on your side or on your belly if you prefer. Or you can return to a seated position and treat this final part of our practice like a seated meditation. Really, whatever you prefer is wonderful, as this is your final part of practice. So please make it so. And as you settle in, begin to just tune into the breath. Notice how fast or slow it's moving. How deep or shallow. Notice the quality of each breath on your inhales. The quality of each breath on your exhales. Feel into the gentle rise and fall of your belly. Gentle rise and fall of your chest. And perhaps bring your attention right into the center of the forehead here and notice the sensation that is there. See if you can feel into the subtle vibrations of that space or the breath as you breathe here. Remembering if your mind wanders off on a thinking adventure, it happens, it's normal. Just go ahead and acknowledge that it happened and then come back to the breath, come back to the inhales and the exhales. If it makes sense for you, perhaps reincorporating that mantra we use at the beginning of our practice, Inhale, I am. Exhale, intuitive. Inhale, I am. Exhale, intuitive. Remaining here with your breath in whatever way best supports you for just a few more moments today. I'm going to get quiet for this final part of practice so you can have it to yourself. Please know that I am watching the time and I respect yours and I will be sure to let you out of this posture before the end of practice. So lean back, let go, just rest right here. Meditation is no longer the work of individuals. Meditation in our time should be a collective practice. Bringing your awareness back to this space, taking a deep inhale through the nose, filling the belly, lungs, and chest with air. 
before slowly exhaling that breath back out. Take another deep inhale as you begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your arms and legs, gently waking your body up. When it feels right for you, rolling onto one side and pausing there with an arm or a hand beneath your head. It's here that I invite you to bring back to mind your intention or your purpose that you set at the beginning of your practice. I answered the question, why did I get on my mat? Take a nice deep inhale here as you make your way on up into a seated position and we close out our practice together today. So finding your comfortable seat, rooting into your sits bones, sitting up nice and tall. We inhale, the shoulders come forward and up. We exhale, they drop back and down. Hands come into a comfortable position, whether on the knees, in the lap, or at heart center. Closing the eyes if you'd like. We take a moment to express gratitude for yet another lovely day here on earth and for our bodies that allow us to do so many things, including yoga. Thank you all so much for allowing me to guide you through this practice today. It was a joy and an honor, and I hope to be able to do so again in the future. The light in me, it sees the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this first class in the uh, Third Eye Chakra series that is part of the Full Body Awakening series. If you like this class, again, be sure to share it with someone uh, who you think would enjoy it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Wild Blue Yonder Media. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Make sure to check out the other classes on my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next practice. Bye.